Hi everybody. Today we shall discuss how to do inverse discrete Fourier transform using decimation in time and decimation in frequency. In our previous video, uh, we saw how to do FFT using DAT and DAF. Before entering into the video, kindly subscribe my channel, Knowledge Academy. Now let us enter into the video. So this is the formula which is required to convert uh, the discrete Fourier transform into uh, inverse discrete Fourier transform. Here, this is the DFT or FFT. We have to take the complex conjugate for that and we have to multiply it with the twiddle factor again to the entire thing we have to take the complex conjugate once again then we have to divide it by the total number of sample points so here uh, <coughs> this is the question x of k is given 12 1 minus 2.414 j 0 1 minus 0 0.414 j 0 1 plus 0 0.414 j comma 0 comma 1 plus 2.414 j so there are eight uh, sample points given so to this we have to find the inverse discrete Fourier transform that is x of n through any one of the techniques either by using uh, DIT or using DIF so we have to arrange the sequence in order then we have to take the complex conjugate for these points so the first the zeroth value is 12 which is exactly a real number so we'll, we take complex conjugate for that there is no change in its value then the next one the first position in the first position the value is 1 minus 2.414 j when we take the complex conjugate for this the imaginary part changes in sign so it becomes 1 plus 2.414 j similarly for all the sample points for all the values we have to take the complex conjugate in this video we are going to find idft using dat algorithm first so to find idft using dat we have to arrange this sequence in bit reversal order so regarding the bit reversal order we have discussed already in the previous video So more clarity will be given on that on um, the link for that video is given in the description you can uh, uh, you can see that for more clarity now while i arrange the, uh, the complex conjugate of the of x of k in bit reversal order in zeroth position x of zero comes as it is and in the second position x of four comes in third position x of two comes and in fourth position x of c in x of x star of six comes in uh, the next position x star of 1 x star of 5 x star of 3 x star of 7 comes so like that the arrangements are made and the corresponding complex conjugates are also written and uh, the explanation regarding the twiddle factor is also given in the previous video again you can look at the link in the given in the description to know about the twiddle factor since the eight sample points are here, we are going to use four twiddle factors as a whole. X eight of zero, no oh, sorry, W eight power zero, W eight power one, W eight power two, and W eight power three. Right. So in the first stage, we are going to use. We are going to draw the butterfly diagram, uh, for uh, uh, between the first line and the second line, and uh, since it is uh, DIT, we have to compulsorily multiply B by the twiddle factor the twiddle factor that we are going to use in the first stage is w8 power 0 which is 1 so the value b is 0 here when we multiply b by twiddle factor the answer is 0 we are taking that here and uh, the value is the value a is taken without any change in the first stage we are not going to make any, any change to the value a yeah, it is taken here and the value b is multiplied with the twiddle factor and taken here and this is the butterfly first butterfly this value we are getting by adding a plus b w n k a plus b into w n k so we are getting by adding this point and this point so 12 plus 0 is 12 and this we are getting by subtracting this 12 and this 0 12 minus 0 is 12 
नेक्स्ट फॉर द सेकेंड बटरफ्लाई दिस इज द सेकेंड बटरफ्लाई अगेन वी आर मल्टीप्लाइंग बी विद टूटल फैक्टर डब्ल्यू एट पावर जीरो दैट इज इक्वल टू वन एंड वैन वन इंटू जीरो इट बिकम्स जीरो अगेन एंड वी आर गेटिंग दिस बाय एडिंग दिस वैल्यू एंड दिस वैल्यू एंड वी आर गेटिंग दिस वैल्यू बाय सप्रैक्टिंग दिस वैल्यू एंड दिस वैल्यू राइट सो इन सच वे वी आर प्रोसीडिंग अगेन इन द थर्ड बटरफ्लाई दिस इज बी B is multiplied with the total factor W eight four zero that is equal to one, and it is taken here, and the value is taken directly here. At this point, I'm getting by adding A and B into W n power k, so that is two plus two j, and this value I'm getting by subtracting one minus zero point four one four j from one plus two point four one four j. I'm getting two point eight to eight j. So in such a way, I'm proceeding for all the butterflies. Now I'm entering into the second stage. In the second stage, the butterfly diagram is drawn between alternate lines. That is between first line and third line. One butterfly. Second butterfly is drawn between second line and fourth line. Third butterfly is drawn between fifth line and seventh line. Last butterfly. Fourth butterfly is drawn between. Sixth line and eighth line. So this is how it goes. Again, since this is DIT, we are proceeding in the same way. We are multiplying B by total factor, and we are taking it to the uh, next uh, next level. And A, without making any change to A, we are taking it directly. So this is the first butterfly. We are taking A directly, whereas this is B for the first butterfly. I am multiplying with, with with the total factor, and I am taking. And this one, this value, I have got by adding a and the multiplied b with the total factor. Then the lower branch I am getting by subtracting b into w and k from a. So that is also twelve. That is also written here. Now for the second butterfly. The only change is the total factor. Here, the total factor, the value of total factor is W eight power two that is equal to minus J. I'm using. This is the second butterfly. This double total factor is multiplied with B, and I'm taking it here. And uh, this value I'm getting by adding A and uh, the product of B and total factor. This value, lower branch, I am getting by subtracting the product of b and total factor from a. So twelve minus zero, that is equal to twelve. So like this, I am proceeding for the third butterfly and also fourth butterfly. I have got these values, right? Next, I am taking this one to the third stage. In the third stage, again certain changes are there. The butterfly is drawn between. first line and uh, fifth line first butterfly second butterfly is between second line and sixth line third butterfly is between third line and seventh line fourth butterfly is between fourth line and eighth line so this is how it goes right so this is the first butterfly in this first butterfly the total factor is w8 power 0 so this b is multiplied with this total factor and taken here whereas this is a for this butterfly this is taken directly without making any change and the in the upper branch we have got by adding the product of total factor and b with a so 12 plus 4 is 16 and in the lower branch we are getting the value by subtracting the product of b and w or the total factor from a so we have got this value 8 like this we are proceeding for the other butterflies also and we have got the values such as 16 16 16 16 8 8 8 8 and one more thing in the last stage we are using these total factors w8 power 0 w8 power 1 w8 power 2 and w8 power 3 so we are using four total factors in the last stage 
so these are the changes that we are making in the last stage compared to the previous stages and uh, we are arranging these numbers these results in order then we are dividing these numbers by the total number of sample points that is 8 so when we divide this we will be getting uh, before that we have to take the complex conjugate for this number also we have uh, taken the complex conjugate of x of k and we have uh, applied a dat to that then we have found the values to the result to the entire result we have to know we must take the complex conjugate again so since all the numbers are real numbers there is uh, no change between the original value and the complex conjugate value so this is how we are getting so uh, taking the complex conjugate since everything is real there is no change it is similar to the original value and i am dividing it by the total number of uh, sample points that is 8 and in the result when i divide each value by 8 i am getting the answer is 2 2 2 2 1 1 1 1 so which is same as that of the question that we discussed uh, in our previous videos uh, for uh, dit and daf right so we are getting uh, with the answer that we got for dit and daf we proceeded in a reverse way when we got the question of the previous video so the sum is working very correctly in the same way if we want to do the same thing uh, using daf we can proceed the uh, we can follow the procedure for daf and we can proceed and after arriving at the final result we have to apply the same formula that we applied for uh, idft and we can write the final answer so it will also obey so idft also can be found using dat and dif thank you for watching my video if you like my video kindly comment like share and subscribe to my channel meet you again in the next video bye